Hey guys, another live chat. Mihaela Telekan Healing with Food here, answering one other question that came into my feed, and that is Do I crave outside of what my default eating is at the moment, which is mainly animal foods? Carnivore. So, craving, uh, I guess we first have to define what cravings are. Uh, we need to try to separate cravings that are um, based on a uh, nutritional need because sometimes you will feel like you crave some salt or maybe you crave eggs or like real food and that or, or even chocolate can fit in there. No, chocolate is double fold, um, but that is a let's call it more of a nutritional biological craving versus of a seafood craving i see the chocolate i see the nuts i like them so i'm gonna have some right and versus um condition craving we we you hear that in, in pregnancy oh i'm pregnant so i'm craving I'm not trying to dismiss the fact that some women may really truly have biological cravings during their pregnancy. I was not one of them. I did not have any cravings for anything different than uh, when I was not pregnant. Um, so sometimes I'm afraid that some of us um, just use that uh, as a reason to, you know, give in a little bit. We 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 let loose of the guilt which is a fine i mean why would you have guilt around food that's not the kind of emotions you want to have around food so sometimes we say oh i'm pregnant i crave it's my period i crave i find myself i do have more hunger before i get my period i notice that but that doesn't mean that i crave a specific food do i like chocolate yes do i have more chocolate uh before my period yes once because i'm hungry secondly because i'm thinking oh chocolate has magnesium i need magnesium because magnesium helps with muscle construction so we know it to prevent uh, uh, pms you if you take more magnesium you don't have so much cramping and pain which thank god i don't have um but sometimes you know we give ourselves excuses or permissions to have certain foods that uh, may not be part of our regular food intake and that's fine so answering the question do i crave food outside of meat um, i would not say i crave it again when i think craving i'm thinking of something that's beyond me i can't control i must have i don't I don't feel that way, but I do allow myself to eat foods that are outside of the animal, uh, foods that I know that are good for me. So occasionally I have chocolate, occasionally I have wine, occasionally I have nuts. But I guess I would not consider them cravings simply because it's not something that throws me out of control. I do it fully, I, I consume those foods fully aware without having feelings of guilt or without going on something what we call overboard where you go into like a binge those are gone i have to say those are gone and i used to have those mainly i had lots of binges um mainly when i was vegetarian younger and i had this like it was a crazy skewed relationship with food i didn't count calories i but I didn't worry about nourishment either. All I knew it was, if I eat more than my body needs right now, AKA a pint of ice cream, tomorrow I'm gonna ride the bike 50 miles, so it doesn't count. But it does count, metabolically, it did count. Because when I was pregnant, indeed, during pregnancy we develop more insulin resistance, but coming from a, a, a somehow met compromise metabolism where I stimulated I forced my body to always produce insulin I did I had already like a mild degree on insulin resistance and then diabetic that went to the next level where 
I did not pass the gestational diabetes screen. So although the weight was not affected, I burned, so to speak, those calories. The, rela- the way I felt around food was not healthy, so I had, cra- and of course, the more sugar you eat, the more cravings you have. It's not a question about. So that's what I mean by, by real true craving. When you have that urge to really go and have that sugar, whether it's chocolate or ice cream or whatever, sometimes it's chips, but some com- some form of comforting food that it's almost like beyond you beyond your control it's like you can't really think after you have it then you're like oh shit I did it again and then you feel guilty so I don't have those anymore that's why I say you can reach a point of food freedom food liberation where you are in control you choose I choose to eat the chocolate or I choose to eat the nut, or I choose to eat uh, even a bite of dessert if that's what I want. But I don't have the out of control, like where I can't stop eating, I can't stop obsessing about it, and I don't feel guilty afterwards. So that is the freedom of food that I'm talking about. And plus, not only that, but because I don't have a biological need for it anymore, uh, and it's it's almost like redefined. So to give you an example, I go out to eat with people and they order bread and it smells or they bring the dessert. I do not get triggered emotionally. I'm not responding to that food uh, with, you know, the salivation and the desire to eat. So I don't feel like I'm missing out. I don't suffer. I'm in peace. I hope this helps you understand that really truly you can heal your relationship with food and to a point where you really eat to nourish your body to fuel your body and you still have pleasure from eating and if there are foods like again a, a something sweet or something salty or something that you you love but you choose not to have every day you will be able to have that in in, in a small amount uh, intentionally, without guilt, without binging, without any of that. I hope this helps, clarifies uh, the question around cravings. So yes, I'm a human being and sometimes all human beings want something else other than meat or eggs or cheese. <laughs> so sometimes I have nuts or fruits or dessert or wine or chocolate thank you so much for tuning in let me know if you have any questions if you watch uh, live uh, i appreciate you showing love if you watch the recording i appreciate you taking the time to watch the recording any questions you have post them below any ahas any personal experience that you have in terms of your own relationship with food how that is changing over time and um for private coaching don't forget you can always message me and I'll send you an application to see if we can form a partnership to help you find your own cure it's not my cure you don't have to be me you don't have to eat what I'm eating or how I'm eating all you need to do is to find what you want why you want and then allow the universe to tell you not the universe your own body actually will guide you into how is the best way to get about it to find your own cure have a fabulous day and i'll talk to you in the next video love you bye